now comes installing the LEDs. Uh, it's very important that you know um, the polarity of each LED because they are polarity sensitive. So you can't you can't reverse the current, otherwise they won't light. Or really worse, even worse, they'll burn them out. Uh, to identify the polarity, there's a few universal ways, but you should consult your, your manufacturer of your LEDs for more specific ways. Uh, the longer lead that comes on your new LED is typically the positive. Also, if you look at it closely enough, you'll see there's a flat end on the LED. That is uh, typically the negative side. And also, if you can see, look inside your LED and see through the, the outer shell, the, the small um, portion is the smallest portion is the positive side, and the largest is the negative side. Um, next, you know, you'll place the LEDs inside the cover. Um, I didn't mention earlier that you might also need to glue these in place. Um, you can use any type of plastic glue or even a glue gun, maybe the easiest way, depending on the fitment. A few of these fit loose, and you want the back of your LED, LEDs to stay in place. Uh, they will also be soldered together so they will sort of aid each other once they're all uh, hooked up. Um, this one does, however, fit loose and will need a little bit of glue. Um, you should also note the orientation. The center, since we're doing three in a row series, and then the rest in parallel, we're going to have the center being the negative bar and the outer edges being the positive bars. More on the website discussing that. Um, so, the longer lead being the positive is going to be facing out on the first row. And we'll just uh, put a little glue on that, hold it in there nicely. You don't want to go overkill. It doesn't take much. And it dries right away. Um, then we'll start the next one in the series. Um, Go from the negative side to the positive side. And what you want to kind of do is bend the leaves in such a way that they are kind of a face straight up and touch together as close as possible. And then I used um, these alligator clips we talked about earlier to hold them together and keep sinking. And now we get to soldering. Just uh, a little bit of solder. For any of those who've soldered before, this should come very easily, easy. But those who've not, I'll explain. Um, usually you prime the soldering iron with a little bit of solder on it, melt it on, and you kind of get a nice little drip on there, run it along the LED, or the, join the two LEDs together, and it cools down pretty quick. It doesn't take long. And we'll move to the next one. And there you have it. Now we have a string of three LEDs in series, um, dropping approximately 3.2 volts each, accumulating to 9.6 volts total, and that's the minimum voltage. We'll talk more on that later. And then going to a parallel string at the end. Well, we're working from the um, outside in, with the positive on this bar and this bar. Um, 
working in you know, parallel series, and in the center we're going to have a common neutral for the series strings. And now I'm working on the right side. And you now place this one in just like just like I do on the other way. And bend it out. Yep, it gets much easier as you go along. You not so bad. I'm trying to join these um, these solder connections um, vertically, pretty much as low as possible, because later we'll we'll trim them just for just to keep them from shorting together or possibly bending. You know, short as possible so is. It's a good thing. Okay, now we're going to take these two series of three strings and um, join the neutrals together. And we're going to do that in such a way that it bends inward so we can do the rest of the rows together. We're bending them in that inward and together. Okay, well, here's the finished product. Hopefully you've haven't had too much of a hard time soldering all these leads together. It tends to go rather quickly once you get the hang of it. Um, Hopefully you didn't get any of the wires touch, you know, the series wires touching. Um, here you can see you have, you have to do, you know, depending on what, what your setup is, you may have to uh, orientate everything to go around the, to work with your box, because you can see here these get in the way of these wires, so they're bent slightly that way, but not pretty minor detail. Um, and here it is. Here's the common neutral. It's all grouped together right there. You know that there's six groups of three series LEDs, and they all come together to a common neutral from both sides, totaling 36. And then there's a positive bar here for the six rows, and a positive bar here for the six rows. And they can be tied together, and you can light one side at a time, or two sides with this particular configuration. So you can be a little more, even more economical or less light output for your needs. Um, well, now we're ready for a test. I just happen to have a regulated 10 volt source right here. I connect the neutral wire up and the positive wire to one side. And as you can see, you can even see the, the backlighting because they are a, a clear case and illuminated from both sides. And we have, you know, 18 LEDs lit up. And then we can tie that together with a little test lead from the positive to the other positive bar and get all 36. And there you go. And here's, um, not to be done everything right, if, you know, you might have had maybe a defective LED that you didn't test or you burnt out somehow during your testing, you might have one of these rows of three not illuminating because, of course, we you know current blockage would cause it not to illuminate. The nice thing is you only lose for every screw up one row with this particular configuration. Think Christmas tree lights when you think of these failures. They're sort of uh, similar. And uh, here is one that's already completed and in its case. Let's connect that up. And there's another one. <laughs> Pretty sturdy, reliable, good unit. Alright, well, um, more information on allergies.net on uh, construction and different types of LED lights.